Yes, sir. Ross Ellinger is reporting that the SEC has just agreed to move to a 10 game conference only schedule uh, about an hour ago. How do you anticipate that will affect the economy given that LSU was supposed to play a game against UT, uh, an interstate game with Nickel State, and another game in Houston? And then as a follow up, do you see any scenario where tailgating can continue as normal in the fall? Yeah, well. First of all, if they're not going to play the full schedule and we have fewer home games, uh, then it will adversely impact the economy. I think we can all agree on that. Um, and then we have to see uh, what the circumstances are when those games commence uh, as to what restrictions are going to be in place. Uh, and I try not to get out over my skis uh, on, on this. And so we, we this is going to play out over time. It's not as if I'm trying to hide the ball from anybody, but, but if I said something right now, it would be complete speculation, uh, and I'm just not going to engage on that. Uh, I will tell everybody that we're in a new normal uh, for the foreseeable future, and, and things aren't going to be the same as, as what we've experienced in the past, but exactly what that experience is going to be, I just don't know yet. And, and I'm guessing that that happened since I've been at this podium, so I haven't had a, a, any chance to uh, speak to anyone at LSU or, or elsewhere in order to, to figure any of that out. Yes, sir, this will be the last question. Going off, saying on the topic of, of football, obviously as these conferences make these decisions, they're related to schedules. Obviously not touching since schools are in different states, crowd sizes or anything. Not asking, obviously, we still have a bunch of or lessons for football, but is it eventually going to come down to you as governor of the state, for LSU's case, Mayor Broom, and EBR, to discuss crowd size and how many people are going to be allowed at a gathering? Um, I don't know that the NCAA, or in the case of LSU, the SEC, uh, would impose uniform rules, and if so, what those rules would be. And then what, what uh, additional uh, flexibility the, the university may have based on whatever's happening here in East Baton Rouge Parish or in the state of Louisiana. But obviously this is something that, that, that could fall to uh, Mayor Sharon Weston Broom and myself, uh, at least to some degree. Um, and, and we'll have to take a look at that. I'm just thankful that on January the 13th of this year, LSU did win that national championship <laughs> because that gives us a very uh, uh, pleasant and vivid uh, memory that we have uh, about uh, that university and that football team. Uh, and and uh, anyway, it's, it's one of the few things this year um, that, that really, uh, you know, for us here in Louisiana especially, a real bright spot uh, because it's been a very, very difficult year for our people for our hospitals and our healthcare workers, for all those who've been uh, suffering from COVID-19 and, and those who perished and all of their families. In addition, all of the business owners and employees and so forth, this has been a, a tough, tough year. And so to, to be able to continue to celebrate that national championship uh, is important. And I suspect Coach Orgeron and the team had no idea uh, back in, in January, just how much that would mean to our state because every passing day it means more. Um, and so, as you all know, I'm a tremendous uh, LSU uh, fan and, and football fan.